Okay, time for my last league match of the season against Ospond or Ospond. Okay. Uh, you can see the standings here are pretty tight in our division. Well, enough that I could win the division or demote based on what happens in this match and a few matches afterwards. Uh, okay. Looks like we need to wait a minute. So yeah. Um, I mean, no matter what happens, uh, if HV Bodefeld does, uh, I mean, I have to score more points in my last match than HVB does, uh, or else he'll just be ahead of me anyway. Uh, if I lose this one really badly, there's definitely scenarios where I could demote. Um, yeah, a lot of volatility. Uh, still there with just a handful of matches left to go. Been playing pretty badly this week. Um, including uh, auto-matched with Ospond earlier in the week and went 0-3. It's maybe a bad omen, but um, or maybe I just got some, some bad games out of the way. It's a combination of bad play and bad luck in those games. Well, as I recall, one of the games I played very badly and lost. And one of the games, uh, I don't remember the details, but I remember thinking I had bad luck. And in, in the last game, I think I uh, was way ahead and, and left a pile out win for him, uh, which uh, meant I deserved to lose, of course. But I did feel as, I never feel as bad about that. Kind of a loss. Well, I mean, it stings in the moment, but but I'm more. You know, I still feel like well, I played better most of the game, so I can feel okay about that. Okay. So there's some um, there's no plus buy for the engine, but um, but we got Jester and Forge uh, as a sort of a way of gaining mid-turn, and, um, and Mountain Village works kind of well with that. And tons of draw. But um, there's this guild hall ill gotten gains thing. Doesn't seem that good, except that I mean. The trashing is, you have to get forged to start trashing, right? But you'll be cycling okay with stuff like Storyteller. If you do the engine, uh, I 
the storyteller engine possibly also makes use of ill-gotten gains. That's not clear. Uh, Guild Hall is not terrible for that because you're going to... The lack of plus buy is really annoying, but I mean, with Outpost. Okay, he opens Caravan. Well, we do have Expedition to help hit the Forge. Um, I think you have to get a silver. Alchemist, probably never touching that. Yeah, I can't possibly justify Alchemist. Um, don't think in this setting I'm gonna go for the Mountain Village trick. It's not even really a trick. Um, I would consider wishing well. Like, isn't wishing well a little bit better than caravan at first, but then later I'm going to rather have caravan. Huh. I guess. And the wishing well is bleh, better if you get it uh, I'll get a I'll get a caravan I guess I'll just okay that's good to get the caravan on this turn So, Ospawn does get a potion. Okay, so down below there's five coppers and an estate. Um, so I would have to, and I have the caravan. So I would have to get two coppers. So out of these five cards I'm looking at right now, I will see two of them. And, um, unless it's a state, a state, or copper, a state, then I would actually hit forge. Otherwise, I'm a little bit sad. I don't know. Let's go for it. That would be really sweet if it works. So I just need to not draw an estate here. And so I'm 50-50. If I hadn't drawn my silver, if I had drawn a copper instead of the silver there, then that would have been... Okay, I got it. So here I could think about another expedition to get a huge forge. Um, so that means I would see all of those cards. Uh, so I would see, f um, unless I bottom deck the caravan, which would be okay. So I would have forge with an estate. And five coppers. And trash all of that for an estate. So basically, it just is like trashing five coppers. Uh.
could also just buy something good for my deck. Uh. I'm going to have to buy another silver anyway if I do that. Unless I also forge the caravan into a gold with the estate. Let's try that line. Maybe stupid. Now, hopefully I can get a, yeah, I should be able to forge two estates into a village. So, I actually think maybe the best thing here is to get another goal. Um, so here maybe I get a jester. Uh, I'm really going to need a uh, jester. Those last cards are estate, gold, gold, copper. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, jester or outpost. Let's see. I guess I know exactly what my next. So I, it's a, a, a state. Gold, gold. So um, I'll be able to buy something, and I'll either play the forge on the two estates to get a village, or I'll play whatever. It. So like if I get an outpost and then just buy a village. I think I rather something awkward. Uh, whatever I do, I'm not getting to do everything. Um, I do the outpost, then next turn I play the outpost by uh, I don't know. Okay, I need to get a jester, an outpost, and a village. I'm not sure what order I want to do that. Uh, I'll start with the jester. Oh, okay, I'm miscount. Oh, that's fine. I probably just have to buy a village here. Unfortunate. Uh, I'll just play the jester. Not 
sure if it's time for a storyteller or what. Guild Hall is, is not such a bad thing to have. Um, maybe I should be getting let's see what Jester turns over. Just a copper. Uh, so What's left? I still have a copper, right? Um, and a state and a village. Uh, Probably go ahead and just get the outpost here. Might be able to. I don't think I can gain and play a village. My second gold, or that time I bought a gold, maybe should have just been an action card. I'm not sure if I've really needed the second gold yet. I think yeah, that was a little imprecise. So wait, I have a one estate, forge, outpost, jester, gold. And I think I thought I still had two estates. He basically needs to buy a village. then it would just be amazing. Well, whatever, I just, I'm always hoping that Jester turns over a card that I want. Oh, I should, pretty much anything that doesn't cost zero is a card that I probably want at some point. Because of Forge. Potion is a good forge target. I still don't think I'm fucking with Alchemist, although I could uh, gain something with Jester would be fun. And if I had a potion, hey. Okay. But I don't think draw should be a problem here. Uh, at some point, you need to get Storyteller. I think. Um, 
so I don't need another village this turn or on my outpost to turn. Uh, so some some draw would maybe be good. I don't know. I'm going to get a village. Bit sad this forge. Silver. I will gain a silver. And I will go ahead by this storyteller. I might get Guild Hall because uh, I just don't know if it's worth it. At this point, I'm probably. Yeah, I don't know. I have two villages, right? Um, I think I want another village and another jester. He needs a village badly. Unless he doesn't want to do more interesting things. So you can forge alchemist. Uh, yeah, I think it works. It's nice. I think I can get silver. I'm gonna have to draw that silver to do anything. Storyteller, probably just do that. Um, so what do I want to gain with Forge? Uh, probably, I, can't, I guess I could get a village, but then... I'm gonna kill this copper. Could get a five cost. Uh, but I can't play it or I can get another village which I don't really need yet I'll probably just get another five cost uh, Buy some 
village. I'll gain an outpost. And one more storyteller seems good. Probably start forging things into provinces. Yeah, he's gonna start greeting. Still think I'm doing pretty good. Got two jesters. Should be ample draw. three provinces though. Oh no, two provinces and mills of province. Okay. Um, I'll probably take one gold and probably look at what Jester gives me. I'll take a gold. Just drawing everything. Um, anyway, well, let's play the silver jester. Give him a curse. And keep that silver. I think. Was there a silver? No. Um, so I guess just gain the province here. And I guess I have to be careful. Um, what would be my ideal next turn? Uh, oh, I'm not buying a province here anyway. Um, Do I need to buy something? Okay, probably I don't play this caravan because I may need to uh, forge it into a province. And I may want to buy something that So double province, middle province, yeah, that's a thing. Um, hmm. Tough spot. I may have waited too long to score. Um, or made a mistake by... Playing 
that way. Um, okay, so probably buy a card that costs four here. So a mountain village, I guess. Or do I just buy a duchy? Or do I do a silver? Um, I don't know. I'll get a duchy. That's not ideal. Okay. Uh, I guess I would rather gain a gold. So I could definitely just buy a province, but that would lose to a repeat of his last turn. Um, he has two alchemists, but that's like all his drawing a wishing well. So in the caravan, that's his draw. Kind of seems unlikely that he can. So he has to get the outpost. He doesn't have any villages, so he has to. Yeah, I think that's unlikely that he can do that. So that means I think that I do want a province here. Uh, I have another gold in there, right? I'm not positive I have another gold. I, on my last turn, I played two golds. I had it plays a gold. I think I. Where did I gain the gold? Uh, I, well, I have another Jester, which I should find. And I do want to get back. Okay, so I do think I play this. Okay. A potion I should be gaining. And uh, can't see any forge play. Okay. I mean, if he is able to repeat that uh, double province, mill province thing, then good for him, I guess. So yeah, he has a ch 
Did he trash his wishing well? He did, so I'm not paying attention. Okay, so is it possible he missed a potion? The three coffers are pretty nice. Uh, Nothing has happened. And the, the best news for me is if he doesn't find the potion, because then it's really hard for him to have a good outpost turn. It's also possible that I shouldn't have risked that. Ah, uh. oh, he can't province. Okay. So maybe he, I'm not even sure that he can double province. He could surely province mill province, but that just loses. Um, okay, this feels pretty good. feels likely that I'm going to win. I don't know how I feel about the choices I made this game.
Look, okay. this shouldn't be hard. Um, I guess I will gain a potion. So this is not double province, but it's province and then outpost. And down below I have Storyteller Gold, so it should be good. And I think, actually a Silver, is probably, or Expedition, surely. Okay. All right, rated switch hands off. Score is one zero, and that was my st or he he started. All right. Oh, great. <laughs> There's no trashing. Proc throne room artificer. The lack of trashing is really annoying. Um, would like to get a ghost ship. So, on the other hand, I'm not really sure, but I think I want to get an embargo. Uh, Opening procession is like doable if they, I mean if they collide then they're pretty happy. That means you, you get the you know you get to put two tokens. Um Other reason to open embargo procession would be that uh, then you can embargo procession. Um, of course, you can still gain with artificer. Don't really like the farmer's market open.
Yeah, even if the procession and the embargo don't collide, then I can be the only one that has a procession. Uh, the question is, is like procession really as strong as I think it is here? <laughs> um, it seems pretty good. Uh, but maybe that's just a little too goofy. I'll just get a sil. I'll just be boring. Um, I think the castles are pretty good fairly early. But I also could be wrong about that. I don't know. This could be a long game. Which means Farmer's Market uh, is going to be good. I just don't think I like opening it. Okay, uh, I can get a, so I could possibly get a ghost ship and then I guess I embargo ghost ship, although of course that doesn't mean that he won't be able to get one, but. Um. But that's a pretty good start and then um uh, maybe a throne is it too early to get a throne room maybe just a coin actually feels Okay, I get labyrinth points are a thing, but um, yeah. Artificer is good, so he can get a ghost ship. I will get a farmer's market here. Uh, really? Just for the buy. Um, and I this would either be a cartographer or an artificer. Cartographer feels pretty good, and the artificer soon. Though Artificer is getting me more Labyrinth points. Uh, so this would be an Artificer buy. So uh, I want to put the estate down first, so that I discard it. Like that. And probably just draw those cards. Good. And my woodcutter here. I'm going to need another coin and a throne room. Maybe later I start doing procession stuff. Uh, here I get a pretty big farmer's market. Probably just a coin and an artificer. This one's pretty good. I 
to throne the cartographer and play ghost ship. Sounds good. Um, so I'm going to draw this and if I don't discard anything, there's six cards and four. No, so I want to get to the end here, so I'll draw one and then three more. I think that means I discard both of these, right? So then I pick up the ghost ship, play it. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a coin down. So I'll have to pick up the Artificer first, I guess. Oh, it's going to trigger the shuffle, though. Oh, whoops. Now, I want to discard all of these so that I pick up the ghost ship. Yeah. And oh, I did that. I did mess that up, but that's fine. Uh, I just need to gain something here. I'm not sure exactly how much money I'm going to have at the farmer's market down there. It's not giving me any money, but it gives me some VP, which might be okay. Let's... It's not farmer's market. Um, Let's use the Artificer, I think. Mm. This might be a procession now. Oh, I failed to get a coin down because I discarded it. And I don't. Really want to discard the coin. I would like to have the coin. Eh. Let's just do it. Right, and uh, throne room seems fine. Not the best shuffle here for me. 
I'm doing well on labyrinth points though. I don't have a coin down. So that was a choice I made. That makes it unlikely that I get more labyrinth points unless I wanted to like buy a ghost chip. That would give me labyrinth points. Okay, so he takes one of the farmer's market. Victory point things. So I think I just discard this copper. Seems fine. I do think a second ghost ship is in order anyway. I uh, would have rather not had a curse with it, but getting those last labyrinth points seems okay. Probably stupid. Still. So, is it worth, yeah, I mean, I already have two coins down, so let's just go ahead and do that so that I can buy a five cost, because I think another cartographer is, uh, is good. Hmm. Don't really want to procession my car talker. This is the thing with procession and throne room also in uh, decks that don't have a lot of trash capability. But if I procession the cartographer, I definitely have a good turn here. Otherwise, it may just be a complete dud. So actually, I do think it's worth it. Um, do I want that farmer's market? What is it at? Yeah, it's a good one. I mean, I wasn't really getting anything if I just play the cartographer and and whatnot. Um, so at this point, I think I need to replace that cartographer and another farmer's market seems appropriate. Oh, this looks nice. Um, We're going to go through this shuffle. So I have not been rewarded thus far for <laughs> gaining a procession. Oh, why do I have to have all these boards that take forever? I can blame it on the boards. So I guess I can discard the copper with cartographer. Let's 
seems fine. It's possible that I'm going to need these actions, and throwing a ghost ship seems fine anyway. through all that. It's a pretty sad shuffle, but hopefully I find um, other cartographer. Um, I can procession conspirator Probably gain a ghost ship or two cartographer. Let's get the ghost ship. Hmm, looks pretty sad. I guess I maybe I could have. On that differently, but I've got cartographer. At least a cartographer down there. <sighs> Could start greening. Even if you keep building, you can still have shitty turns anyway. The humble castle seems pretty good. And, uh, these cartographers seem pretty good, too. Okay, well, at least I got this cartographer. Oh, he resigns. Okay. Okay, good start. I think that that guarantees that I don't demote. Okay. Apprentice Market Square, what else is there? Okay, so there's Rogue. Um, there's Grand Market, which might be worth picking some up. So, you can open double amulet. That's really, I mean, okay, there's no question you're getting an amulet. So, he goes amulet market square. That seems conservative. But it gets you the gold, possibly. I will just copy that. Okay, so I'm not getting a gold, neither is he. Um, I think he may be thinking, if those are all coppers, he may be thinking about getting an apprentice here, and he does so. That's pretty good. Um, for me, another market square it should be, I think. This is the second time recently that I've had... Okay, so he's definitely ahead. I think you just need a lot of market squares. Here, I guess I get a gold. I 
just drew it better than nothing. Yeah, definitely ahead here. He gets another, yeah, wow, he's way ahead. Um, this is my first goal. Really don't want that druid. Here, he has two apprentices to my none. Oh, there, I get an apprentice into this shuffle. So I guess I just get two golds here. Yeah, he's kicking off already. Uh, didn't get to gain any golds off of that. But he's got another apprentice probably in his hand. Or probably has the apprentice or amulet. This board can't take super long. That's one good thing about it. It shouldn't, anyway. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure why that took so long to think about if he had that already. And now he gets another gold, right? Going on. I can't imagine not wanting to trash with this play. And I think he has another market square in hand. Or why not? Was thinking about if he wanted a grand market, which doesn't seem like you do. Yeah, I think he knows how to play this, and there's not really any hope for me. Could probably resign soon. Doesn't really seem optimal, although I don't know what. Maybe he didn't have any market squares in hand at first, and then he drew all of them, but no apprentice. Okay, so he doesn't have such a good turn, but it doesn't really matter. I could gain a gold, but I probably just need to pray that my top card is Apprentice.
kind of hate apprentice market square boards. I guess I will not insult him by continuing to play. There's no village. But plenty of draw with lab and stables. Uh, want vampire. I guess there's ghost. It's sort of a village. Um, don't think there's a reason to play with Watchtower. Uh, it's like okay at the very beginning, but probably better is Salter. I think. The only sources of plus buy require you to trash a card, but we have gains from vampires, sort of, which is also, yeah. So it's actually um, a bit gain limited, as it were. Um, you get to gain a copper or a curse occasionally from vampire hexes. Um, it's like kind of like having a salvager and maybe build up to a single colony. Research is non-terminal and terminal space is limited, but I don't see using my terminal space on anything better than a salvager. Um, Spice Merchant is also on the board. Okay, that is not terrible. Um, Salvage are pretty good with cemetery too. I will go for the salvager and then here, probably get that spice merchant. And I really hope that I manage to hit five here. I don't. <sighs> well, this is another one not going all that great. guess that trashing a copper and buying a silver is better than buying another one of these fours. Pretty damn sad. Okay, well, I got five here. I guess it could have been even worse. cycle. Um, OK. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Probably, well, the next time they collide, I'm probably salvaging the Spice Merchant because Yeah, for I think obvious reasons. I think I want one stables, but I want a lot of labs. I'm a little bit scared of running out of, I mean, I don't know, maybe not. Okay. Is it time to buy copper? Hmm. Could also get a gold for one of these vampires instead of uh, whatever. Some economy. I'm going to have some economy when I trash the spice merchant, I think. Uh, I'll take two stables. Hmm. Hmm, just buy a lab. Hmm. Maybe just buy one more lab. So I got to figure out now how to get a platinum. I think I can just afford one. So that is seven. I can also just get a ghost. So there's my uh, so I can afford a platinum. I can draw here and still afford the platinum. Um, and I have a vampire down there, so let's do that. And Spice Merchant lives another day. I salvage the estate. Um, don't think I want a gold now. That's one of the good hexes. 
Um, just a lot. We've got a ghost. Still doesn't have a platinum. Uh, and he buys a silver. Okay, Bad Omen says nothing. Would have rather greed. Have we seen greed yet? Uh, no. Okay, um, I think I need another platinum. So I might get a ghost here. So one way to do that would be to actually play the Spice Merchant, trash the Haunted Mirror, discard Salvager, get coins by, and then I can still trash a silver with bat. I don't think too hard about it. And uh, yeah, no gold for me. And about ready to start getting some colonies. I guess uh, cemetery was never a thing. Cards are too precious. I think I'm in pretty good shape. I guess I gave him misery. That was good. He also has a lot. Oh, he's envious right now. Got a lot of silver, so that was no. That was pretty good there. Okay, and kills the spice merchant.
Oh, he killed the ghost. I kind of want my ghost. Um, going into greening. Probably just draw all this stuff and gain a, an action card with a vampire. Oops. Um, let's get a colony. Uh, werewolf is just one more attack or target for things, or you know, the ghost can hit. Why not? Do that. Um, probably ghosting the werewolf seems good. Poverty. Good. Still looking for greed. Don't think I need to take duchies or anything. I'll just take a lab. I think I'm might be enough ahead that I start milling colonies. Although, let's just see what his turn looks like. Obviously, overdraw by miles. Could have considered like not playing the ghost there. Um, save it for. I think this is fine. I think I should have no trouble uh, drawing my next two turns, and then I'll have ghost on a turn one. It might actually do something. Maybe better that better to ghost the lab and have the werewolf for attack. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna for double colony, right? So that's a 12 now. Just whatever I salvage. I thought he already trashed the spice merchant. Got confused about that. So he may be building up to double colony, but
Oh, maybe I should be... Yeah, okay, I should gain another salvager. That's ridiculous. Um, very inefficient. Wait, where's my salvager? Ah, he killed it. Okay. Well, I feel silly. So I may actually want to ghost. The salvager. Let's, let's, 12. let's salvage the bat. Just ghosting the salvager, kind of risky. Uh, another, okay. another thing I can do here, I can Buy colony, mill colony, then I'm up by more than two colonies and there's only three left. So then if he double colonies, then I, so he can't double colony. Um, so I think I like that line. Now, um, yes. Probably not playing this bat, unless I think I would rather have a different card besides werewolf that I don't get until later. Um, I'm in pretty good shape if I just go to lab. So that's what I'm going to do. It's diluted. Get the lab. Go to lab. Uh, he gets the greed, which is whatever. Bison came to copper, okay. Oh, yeah, that can happen on this board. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what's down there. It's a lab, so that was stupid. Um, so I just buy colony, mill colony, right? Uh, no need to be fancy. Just 
Oh, I killed a salvager too. Okay, that's good. And then. This looks very awkward. Money, money-ish thing. So the engine thing is like a stack of markets with pathfinding. Thin with forge. Um, I do think that you, your terminal is probably old witch. But you also have four. I mean, it's, it's it takes a while to come together, right? Swindler better than guide at the beginning. I mean, maybe maybe it's swindler guide. Goes for double swindler that I don't like. Um, Swindler Silver It would be embarrassing to lose to something like Spice's money. Um I have a chance at hitting the hilarious seven dollar hand there, right? Uh it seems good. So I have six. So this is a pretty big decision point. Um, the money should be pretty fast and relatively immune to Swindler, whereas the Swindler is really annoying, uh, possibly, if you try to do that engine with pathfinding. You gotta hit those big price points first before your deck does anything at all. So he seems to like the money thing. And I think I agree, but there's still a lot of choices for what to buy here. Uh, hoard, gold, spices, spices over gold, I think. Um, or old witch. I think that I like the old witch. And now spices for sure. I lost my guide. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy another one. Gives me a workshop. It's a pretty good choice. So he could get a forge. If he thinks that forge is good.
Well, it is getting some kind of annoying swindler hits. Okay, it looks like he is going for that thing. I don't know. Maybe it's not as hard to build that deck as I thought. I'm just going to stick to this thing. good. Probably just keep loading up on spices. Um, what could think about Horde? It's a card. Let's okay. He doesn't. He just discards his forge. Let's just get our spices here. catch him with no curse in hand here. He's got three markets. I would like a guide. And I would like a horde. don't think I start provincing this turn. I already got one guide. Uh, I may need another guide. So here I'll take province. Probably call the guide on this. Um, otherwise, I'm just like gaining a guide and buying a province, but I have to spend all my coffers. Mm, seems pretty good. It's a trash curse. Let's just get uh, one more spices here. Oh, there. 
there's that, oh, there goes that deck. Um, uh, maybe it's crazy to play the money thing here with the attack slowing it down. Hmm. No, that's pretty good. another market. I'm pretty confused about the Swindler Silver there. Surely that's another market. Is he wanting to like get multiple Swindler plays? Why does he want all those swindlers? Is there some... I don't understand that. Um, bit sad to discard two spices, but probably give me a, a witch. Hmm. 
maybe the play here would be to not call the guide and just buy spices. <laughs> me a charm. That is basically just as good as the spices. I mean a scepter would be worse than a charm for me. Okay, now he's got all those markets. Um, let's just Save the guide. And the piles are getting kind of low. Yeah, okay, so this is a great time to use the guide. Trash is my horde. Gives me another horde. Catching up rather quickly. Should win easily now. Um, That was sad. So he just needs to like double province duchy. That's what he did last turn, right? Let's just do that again. Um, and he wins. Yeah, I'm pretty sad that I did this money thing now. Um, he had some good swindler hits, but he also made some really weird buys. I think that if he played that clean, it wouldn't have even been close. Come on, can you just buy what you bought last turn? Yeah, that was pretty stupid. <laughs> this one is a bit Court, isn't it? You know, it looks pretty good. Band of Misfits. Oh. 
but um, I guess it's mostly about the cursing. Apothecary is nice, but hopefully he doesn't have those five too. Very tended to get the navigator. Should go without saying. <sighs> but it could also go very badly. Let's get it. Goes for a potion. I could get a tunnel trash hovel. And then have a chance to get some gold. I think that that also still guarantees that I hit five. No, I guess it doesn't. Um, why would it? But, um... Yeah, it doesn't. And I did miss five. He does not. Can you double down on this tunnel thing? Let's do that. <laughs> okay, here I can get my witch. Suppose replace is also a cursor, and if I'm playing this deck where I like tunnels, I can replace things into tunnels. Uh, so that said, maybe this should be replaced instead of a witch. Uh, so this is a nice hand here. Um, that's not ideal. Yeah, uh, that could have, that turn could have been a really amazing, <laughs> um, but instead it was really shitty. Uh, so uh, great. Um, I don't think I want another like witch. Let's get a band.
What a super shitty shuffle that was. I thought it was going to be amazing. I mean, like, if, if these five cards were the five cards instead of the five coppers, that last turn would have been fucking incredible. Um... could replace witch with a tunnel, replace tunnel with tunnel, replace a witch with a witch, to, which is basically just top decking a witch. Or I could just replace copper with a state. Or like a pearl diver. also top deck a replace or like a band a lot of options I think cursing is good wow This continues to be super annoying. We need to do this. Let's keep all that. Just keep buying these tunnels. Got another tunnel down there because I could hit it with Farming Village. And I do. I guess I'll get another. another. Uh, grave Robbers. Okay. Be another replace. Just a gold. I think gold is pretty good. Uh, so this will be a navigator, I guess. Oh, which is to say, I will play the. Band as a navigator. Might be pretty stupid to not be doing this engine with the pop carry. It just, I just don't have the energy for it. That's kind of how I felt. Well, last game would have been not, that engine didn't take very much energy, just a little bit of patience. I don't think there's any way that I'm winning the division, so. 
dibs. So if I already have good cards on top, then I'd be a little bit sad if I did a navigator. But, uh, yeah, it's better upside. Yeah, this is good. Don't get to buy a province. Probably buy or replace. Man, I'd be feeling real good if, uh, if that shuffle had been different that one time. I had the two villages and the navigator in hand. No, where's my navigator? in the discard pile, I know that. Could draw a witch here. Or a number plates, maybe. And launch. I'll take a village. That's going to come together. It's going to win this game. The engine can gain golds with like apothecary and then farming village and then you discard your tunnel. There's not really any problems with this engine. He just seems to be having trouble drawing still though. A little bit.
maybe not having trouble drawing. Ooh, piles are kind of low. It's not like I can do anything about it. I mean, I guess I, I sort of can. Just. He can do more about it <laughs> and probably just. Finish me off here. And say two turns. What he's doing with all that silver. Two silver seems like too much if you're doing this. I don't get to talk, I think. Probably just sort of hope that he does. Second time I've hit seven. That doesn't feel great. Don't really get to complain when I build this shitty deck. Pretty well set up to win. Next turn. So I'd have more. I mean, okay, if those two times I hit seven, I hit eight. <laughs> this game could have gone differently.
Yeah, my deck has nothing left. really see a path to victory here, but it's just a deck of Pearl Diver. Ohms for an estate and see what happens. <laughs> oh man. All my gold's hiding. I don't have that many of them. You can't get that province. Ooh, look at that farming village go. so lazy of me. Thanks for watching.